Now, still trying to figure out, Jan Blom and I are not getting it at the moment. But yes, he's the man of the hour. He's our guest artist this morning. And as we always do to break the ice, we ask a quick uh, rapid fire series of questions to get to know him a little bit better because you have to answer with the first thing that comes into your mind right. with these questions in 60 seconds. And then we get to talking about the music. Are you ready, Jan Blom? Absolutely. Okay, start the clock. Here we go. So if you had a time machine, where would you travel? To the past or the future? The past. If you're stuck on an island, what is the one item you would bring with you and why? <laughs> My guitar. Huh? My guitar. Why? It's, it's, it's my girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the last person you messaged and what did you say? Um, mom. I, yeah, I think it's my mom, eh? Um, stay around. <laughs> <laughs> stay around? <laughs> okay. Do you like chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. If you had a one wish, what would you use it on? Um, having a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Summer or winter? <laughs> Summer or winter? Summer boy, yeah. Your toilet roll over or under? Under. If you're not a musician, what would you be? Um, most probably a, a roadie. A roadie? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite karaoke song? Um, uh, touching You, Touching Me. <laughs> Movies or books? <laughs> books. Who was the last person you said I love you to? Uh, touching you, touching me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Absolutely. What not. do you mean? <laughs> Young Blow, man, it's great book. to have you here. <laughs> Thanks, Finally, brother. I was talking to you earlier on, and I wanted to say that like, I'm sorry we're only getting you onto the show now. Yeah. Man. You, you're one of the, the, the greatest out there doing it. Oh, thank you. Um, but it's good to have you here, though it thank is so our first time. Um, so tell me about the, the music industry and how it's treated you uh, over the years. I mean, you've produced countless award-winning albums. Um, how hard would you say it's been to remain relevant in the music industry over the past years that you've been in it? Um, I think I can, I mean, there's, there's so many clever answers to, you know, to, that, to, that, yeah. um, to that question, but I think the, the space where I'm in at now, yeah. um, I, think, I think it's not so much as being relevant as being honest. Um, because I believe that is where creativity really lies. Yes. And I, I believe that true cre creativity will always, you know, it, 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 it needs to, to get out there. Yeah, yeah. So um, if, if being relevant means trying to get into trends and stuff, you know, I haven't focused on that kind of thing, so I can't answer you. Yeah, and audiences then naturally gravitate to that honesty and creativity that comes with it. It seems, yeah. It, it seems it's, 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 it's maybe a scary place to mm -hmm. be at because you need to be honest. Obviously, but um, with with honesty comes a certain kind of creativity that yeah. I, I don't know. It's it's just always worked for me. Has that changed for you over the years? Did, did it start out differently, and then as the times evolved, you found that in order to satisfy yourself as a creative and as an artist, you need to drift towards that honesty space and writing and making music for that space. I think I think that's that's one of the the simple truths. Um, one of the simple truths that I realized yeah. um, was that how, how simple it is actually um, to be, you know, just to kind of be without judgment about what you're making. Yeah. You know, to kind of just get out of the way and let it Just go. let it be. Yeah. What, what was it like in the beginning, though? I think, I think you, you, I mean, you're, you know, a um, young rocker, so you obviously must be checking what jeans you're wearing <laughs> and what's the coolest <laughs> guitar. You know, there's, there's things. And yeah. I don't know, um, you know, after a certain while in the, in the industry, yeah. you see, it doesn't matter. It's about that connection you have with people. Absolutely. And what happens in that connection and, and what, what stuff means to me and stuff means to, yeah. to people out there. So the Love Album, that's a pretty, I mean, if you're talking about honesty, creativity or connection with people, the Love Album is as mm. deep a title as you can come up with. So tell me about the Love Album. That's your latest one. Yeah, it's, it's most probably one of the things I'll never completely understand, but one of the things in life that fascinates me. Okay. Um, absolutely. It's, it's this concept of love and what, what, what it means to different people. Mm. And the different, yeah, because there's so many meanings for love, but I, I, I believe somewhere in this, there's some unconditional thing that happens with, with love that's, that's a kind of an answer to a lot of questions that people have in the world today. And it's answered my a lot of my questions. So for me, it's a it's a personal thing as well, and just something I'd like to share. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So as as per definition, according to Jan Blom, an unconditional thing that could be the answer to many questions in the world. And later on, we'll be hearing music from the Love Album. Cannot wait. Make sure that you don't miss out. And it's great to have you here Thank on the you show, so much. ladies and gentlemen. Jan Blom, come on. <laughs>